Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports Tour coming to you today with the reaction to week six of the college football season. Um, we had some fun games, some upsets too, so let's dive into this. Um, we start off with the Thursday games. Um, two of them, Georgia State versus Troy is the first one we're going to talk about. Troy beat them 37-20. to um, Good win for Troy. They look pretty good in this game for the most part. Um, Georgia State to me is one of the mediocre teams in the Sun Belt, so I expect Troy to win this as they're one of the best teams in, in the uh, Sun Belt. So Troy right now is three and zero in the Sun Belt, and they'll probably going to be in the bowl game, and they probably might be in the Sun Belt championship. So hopefully Troy gets there. Um, Georgia State, um, maybe you guys get to a bowl game. I don't know. Next we have Tulsa versus Houston. Um, Houston beat them 41 to 26. Um, let's see. Tulsa was in this for th about three and a half quarters, but then Houston pulled away late. Uh, let's see. Houston gets their first win in the conference, a 1 0 in the conference, the AAC. Tulsa's 0 2 in the conference. Houston's now 4 and 1. And Houston's on their way, probably, for, in being um, in the AAC cha um, championship against either Central Florida, um, South Florida, or Cincinnati at this point. Because Memphis has two losses in the AAC at this point. And there's really no one else that could, that could compete with Houston. So Houston's probably, probably, probably going to be representing the AAC West, the American West. Um, Tulsa... Probably not making a bowl game this year. Next, we got two, three games in the on Friday. First one, Georgia Tech versus Louisville. Low ACC action. Georgia Tech beats the shit out of them, 66 to 31. Um, Georgia Tech just looked a lot better than Louisville. Louisville, um, I don't think you guys are making a bowl game at this point at 0 and 3 in the conference and the ACC. Georgia Tech, I'm still on the fence if you guys will make a bowl game. Um, I'm going to say for now you guys do because you guys proved to me that you could blow out bad teams. Louisville is a bad team, people. I don't see this team doing any better than 4-8 and eight at this point. Um, but Georgia Tech looked really good offensively, and, and Louisville looked really bad defensively. So We'll see what happens, but at this point, um, Louisville and Georgia, Louisville and Georgia Tech, I don't see both either one of these teams being players in the ACC. Next, we have Middle Tennessee versus Marshall. Middle Tennessee beat some 34-24. I was a little bit surprised by this. I thought um, that Marshall will win this. Um, basically, Middle Tennessee looked like the better team. That's what it came down to, really, and... Middle Tennessee could be in the Conference USA Championship. They're 2-0 in the conference right now. Marshall's 1-1, so they could still sneak in there. But both of these teams are 3-2. I still expect both of these teams to make bowl games. But I'm telling you, I, I was a little bit surprised with this one. I, I was pretty confident in Marshall in this one. Utah State versus BYU. Um, Utah State should be the favorite. They win 45-20. Um, um, what I was saying was that Utah should Utah State should be the favorite for the Mountain West Mountain Division for, to represent the Mountain Division in the championship at this point, with Boise State having two losses. Um, Utah, I can't wait for Utah State versus Boise State. I can't wait for that. That's gonna be such a fun game. Um, but Utah State looks like the best team in the Mountain West, at least in the Mountain Division. Uh, BYU, you're three and three. Um, I still think you guys might get in the bowl game, but I mean, if you guys do, it'll be six and six or seven and five at best. Or actually, you guys play thirteen games, so seven and six probably will be where you guys will be at for BYU. But Utah State, they could be in the Mountain West Championship game. Now to the Saturday games. Um, number one, Alabama beats Arkansas sixty-five to thirty-one. Um, I'm, I, let's let's start with Arkansas first. Um, I'm I'm happy to see Arkansas pick up 31 points on Alabama. Um, they played hard on Arkansas. They won. They uh, fight to the end. Um, their defense is bad though in Arkansas. They, they have probably the worst defense in the SEC um, behind Ole Miss. But I'll say this about Alabama: you play Missouri next week. Um, Missouri's paying a fully burger on you if you if you play defense like you did today. Um, Alabama's I found Alabama's weakness is the linebackers and secondary. Um, 
that's their weakness. If you could attack them and keep up with the with the um, Alabama's offense, or even have a good enough de defense to stop them at times, you could beat Alabama. Those teams right now that I, I'm, I could think of that could beat Alabama. Um, I'm going to be doing a video um, sometime this week on who's going to represent the, who's going to win the SEC at this point because I think you could go a number of different directions. I think the SEC East is wide open. Um, and I think that the S I I don't think the SEC West is a complete lock for Alabama. So I look at this game. Um, this game ha has a lot of it, it told me everything I needed to know about Alabama. The offense is good, but the secondary is weak. And I I'm interested to see how many points they give up to Missouri next week. Um, let's see. Vanderbilt versus number two Georgia. Georgia gets the win, forty-one thirteen. Good win for Georgia. Um, it was good for them to get this win. They needed this win desperately. Um, Vanderbilt, um, they're three and three. I don't think they're making a bowl game this year at this point. Um, they're gonna have to go um, three and five at this point. So three and three to make a bowl game. Um, they do get, they do get Tennessee, and they do, I think they get Tennessee, Ole Miss, and Missouri. So that should be um, that should be wins possibly, but we'll see. But good win for Georgia. Next, Indiana versus number three Ohio State. And oh yeah, by the way, congratulations to Alabama and Georgia for making bowl games. They'll get eligible for bowl games at this point, being six and now. Same thing with Ohio State, number three Ohio State. Um, they get the win over Indiana, forty nine twenty six. Indiana was in this for about three quarters, so. I mean, that's a cause for concern for Ohio State for having a team like Indiana, who's, I'm not saying Indiana's a bad team, but to me, they're not players in the Big Ten. Um, it's interesting seeing them um, be in this for three quarters on the road. Um, a little bit concerning there for Ohio State, but all in all, you got the win. It's a good win. Indiana, you guys could possibly make a bowl game. You have to win two more games to make a bowl game. I believe you get Maryland, Rutgers, or have you guys already fa faced Rutgers? I forget. But we'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah. Next up before Clemson uh, is now bowl eligible after being Wake Forest 63-3. to um, it, This is what I learned from this game. One, Clemson, people are underlooking this Clemson team. They even now make a statement. And I've been saying it, Clemson should be the number two team. And I think at this point they need to be moved up to number two. Possibly even number one. Um, they're just, they're, they're right there with Bama. They're right there. This is like the number one team circle that could beat Bama, um, Clemson. Um, and by the way, they will win the ACC at this point. And two, Wake Forest, you suck. You let two teams come into your, into your home stadium. Three teams come into your home stadium. And at least your defense sucks because you let those teams score points after points on you. So, and that's Boston College, Notre Dame, and Clemson. So, Rick Force, I don't see you all making a bowl game if you're continuing letting teams score, if, you, if your defense sucks like this. Next game, the big upset, um, number 22, Florida at home. Upsets, number 5, LSU on the road, 27-19. And I'm all I'm gonna say to this is that the swamp is back. Florida is back, people. Um, let, I don't think I picked LSU because I wasn't too sold on Florida. I'm sold on Florida now. Um, this is why I'm having my video because Florida could very well, um, they could very well beat Georgia. And if they beat Georgia, um, watch out because they'll they'll beat South Carolina, Missouri, Vanderbilt, and whoever the hell. Else they face, but Florida is pretty good. People, LSU is still a good football team. Um, I do expect them to drop around eight or nine. Their resume is still pretty good. They beat a ranked Miami um, team, team and a um, ranked Mississippi State, um, a ranked Auburn team, both not at, in Beth Valley for them. So I'm not. So I'm fine with um, LSU dropping a little bit, but. I'm telling you, number 22 Florida, expect them to be possibly even in the top 15. I am so sold on this team right now. That's why I'm doing a video about the SEC and who the hell is going to represent the championship. Um, 
for the East and West. Because I'm not sold on Georgia representing um, the SEC East right now. But uh, let's see. Next game, number six, Notre Dame beats number 24, Virginia Tech, 45-23. Um, I expected this. Um, no Dame is just much better than Virginia Tech. That's what it comes down to. Virginia Tech's a really not ranked team this year. Um, the quarterback's out for the year. Um, Josh Jackson or John Jackson, uh, something like or Josh Johnson. I, I forget his name. It's something like that. Um, they weren't in this for like two and a half quarters. Virginia Tech, which was good, but. I just don't think Virginia Tech's really a player this year in the ACC. I think I'll, I'll say Miami, um, North Carolina State, and Boston College is all better better than Virginia Tech at this point. No damn good win. Like, I expect you to be in the top five. We'll see what you guys do. I, and by the way, congratulations on making a bowl game. Um, no damn. Next, number 19, Texas in the Cotton Bowl gets the big upset against number 7, Oklahoma, 48-45. And I called for this upset, by the way. I said Texas was going to win this, and they did. Um, I got a little um, nervous at the end. I got a little bit nervous because they Texas was up 45-24, and they let Oklahoma come back. But they kicked the last second field goal, get the win. Um, and also, we're doing a video also on the Big 12, the Pac-12 South, and the SEC. And who the hell is going to represent um who the hell is going to be in this championship game? It's because the Big 12 is wide open right now. Um, the reason why I said Texas was going to win this is because Oklahoma looked really shaky against Iowa State and very, very shaky against Army, even a little bit shaky against UCLA. Um, Texas, I expect them to move up to the top 15. I expect Oklahoma to drop um, out of the top 10. So We'll see what happens. I'm going to have a video in the rankings later, but... Big win for Texas. Um, the offense looks very really good. Defensively, I'm not sold on them, though. So, yeah. Next game, number 8, Auburn, goes on the road and loses to Mississippi State 23-9. And I called for this upset, too. Um, this game had Mississippi State winning all over it, by the way. Um, Mississippi State, I, I'll say this about Mississippi State. They look better than Auburn. They, they really do. Um, both, team, both teams are 1-2 and two in the SEC. Um, I expect Auburn to drop a lot, by the way. I expect Mississippi State to gain the rankings. Um, they lost to a Kentucky team, a pretty good Kentucky team, by the way, that was ranked in the top 15 this week, Mississippi State. And then they, I forget who else they lost to. I think they lost to, um, I, I forget who else they lost to in the SEC. Was it, oh yeah, they lost to Florida. But that was their own former head coach. Uh, who, by the way, is also a good ranked team. So Mississippi State's losses are against ranked teams. So I expect them to be ranked. Um, Auburn, I'm telling you, I I'll say this right now. Gus Malzahn, this is his last season. I think he's on the hot seat because there's no way um, Auburn should be 4-2. You let LSU come into your building and beat you on a last-second field goal, and then you lose to a um, you lose to Mississippi State, an uh, unranked Mississippi State team on the road. Um, you did beat Washington earlier this year at a neutral site, but that was really a home game for y'all. Auburn and Atlanta are like 80 minutes apart. But I'm telling you, Auburn, I am very concerned if I'm an Auburn fan. I don't think you're, I don't even think you guys are players in the SEC West at this point. Um, next, we got Kansas versus number nine, West Virginia. Um, West Virginia beat them 38 to 22. Um, West Virginia, um, good win for them, but. I'm not sold on you all. Um, you guys should have blown out Kansas. And by the way, Kansas, good job. You stayed in this game. Um, it was 21-14 at one point. And I also think Kansas will be winning a Big 12 game of some time this year. I don't know which game, but maybe I'll pick them once this year. We'll see. Um, West Virginia, though, they look like the best team, though, in the Big 12. But we will be doing a video. I'm not sold on them. So we'll see. Next, we got number 10, Washington, being UCLA on the road, 31-24. Good win for Washington. A bit concerning. Um, you, you let a bad UCLA team back in this. I think that um, Washington, I, I think they'll be representing the Pac-12 North as long as they could beat Stanford and Oregon. Um, I think as long as they beat those two teams, I think they're representing the Pac-12 North. Um, Stanford had a big loss against Utah, so we'll see what happens. But... 
UCLA, um, good job staying in this game. I still think they're the worst team, second worst team in the Pac-12 behind Oregon State. Next, number 12, UCF beats SMU at home, 48 to 20. Good win for UCF. Um, no climb, no climb in the rankings by five or two. Um, SMU, good job trying to stay in this game for a little bit, but UCF is just better than you. Next, um, Texas A&M beats. Um, Number 13, Kentucky, in, over, in overtime, 20-14. to 14. Um, Texas A&M, I expect them to be ranked this week as well. Um, their only two losses are against Alabama and Clemson, by the way. Um, Alabama on the road, which they, only, which they covered the spread, um, the 26.5 point spread. They lost by 22 points. And at Clemson, team, at, at Clemson team at home, you only lost by two points, too. So, you just beat 13, Kentucky, in overtime at home. I expect Texas. I expect Texas A&M to be ranked. I think Texas A&M. I'll say this about Texas A&M: You guys have a better shot at winning at winning the SEC West than Alabama, than um, Auburn. You have a better shot than Auburn at winning the SEC West at this point. Um, Kentucky. I st Kentucky's going to be fine. Um, they're in the SEC East. They still have a shot in that. Um, but they have to beat Georgia, um, Missouri, Tennessee. And on the belt. And as long as they beat those four teams, they'll go nine and um, they'll, they'll go nine and three or ten and two, something like that. I I expect um, Kentucky to be fine. They'll drop in the polls a little bit though. Um, next, Utah goes on the road and pulls off the big time upset against number fourteen Stanford, forty to twenty one. Um, no Bryce Love. Um, for Stanford, um, that probably was the reason why they lost more than anything. Um, good win for Utah though. This is a big win for Utah. They could. I didn't expect Utah to win this. I thought they'll be two and three, for sure. But once Tom Bryce Love was out, I, I gave Utah like a thirty percent shot. Good win for Utah. Um, this is probably the, one of the best wins in a while. Um, they could, they're now players in the Pac-12 South. There are legit players in the Pac-12 South, despite having a one and two Pac-12 record. Stanford. I think you're all dropping out of the rankings, and the reason why is you guys just don't impress me. Your biggest win is against USC, so I mean, basically, your biggest win is against a non-ranked um, team. Next, number 15, Michigan beats Maryland, 42-21. I'm happy that my turf stayed in this game for a half, but I knew we were gonna lose. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know who the hell we get next week. I mean, we have like a back-to-back -back weeks of Rutgers and Illinois. We should win those two games and cross our fingers. Hope we beat like Indiana when the schedule, or maybe pull off an upset against somebody, and we can make a bowl game. Michigan, good win at home. Um, Maryland is not a bad team, so it's good to see you get the three touchdown um, win. I expect Michigan to move up in the standings. So. Next, number sixteen, Ohio, not Ohio. Number 16, Wisconsin beats Nebraska 41-24. Good win for the, um, Wisconsin. I'll give um, credit to Nebraska. They kept on fighting to the end, but Nebraska's the worst team in the um, Big Ten West, by the way. They, they look like the worst team in the Big Ten West. Um, Wisconsin, I don't know if you guys will move up any rankings, though. I don't know that for sure. Number 17, Miami um, comes back. Gets the big comeback against Florida State um, and wins 28-27. They were down 27-14 at one point, I believe. Um, Miami, I expect Miami to actually drop a ranking or two. They really shouldn't because this rivalry, Florida State-Miami, is always a one-possession um, win for whoever's playing. Um, both teams play each other well. But Florida State, for them to, um, for them to blow a, a big lead, a 13-point lead, is pretty pathetic. I don't, I'm, I'll say this about Florida State. I, I think it's 50 50 right now that you guys get in the bowl game. Um, Miami, I think you guys are probably going to be in the ACC championship game at this point. Next, Northwestern gets the big upset on homecoming day for Michigan, number 20, Michigan State, 29 to 19. Good win for Northwestern. Um, I knew Northwestern was, that, was a type of team that could win these games. Um, I expect them to be in the bowl game, especially in the Big Ten West, which is kind of wide open after Wisconsin at, at this point. Um, they're going to beat some of these teams, and they're going to get in the bowl game at 7-5. and five. 
Um, Michigan State's going to be out of the rankings this week. Um, I'm, Michigan State's not a player in the Big Ten East, by the way. They're, they're, they're just not. Arizona, let's see, number 21 Colorado beats Arizona State 28-21. Good win for number 21 Colorado. They might jump up a ranking or two. This is their, um, this is their, their best win of the season so far against their, this is probably their toughest opponent. Arizona State, I still think you all are under Herm Edwards will get into a bowl game. I, I still think that um, the Pac-12 South is wide open still. I'm not sold on Colorado. So, we'll see what happens. Number 23, NC State beats Boston College 28-23. Good win for NC State. Um, I'm starting to think now you guys would have beat West Virginia at home. So, good win for you all. You could be 6-0 at this point. Um, Boston College... Um, I still think Boston College will get in the bowl game. I, I still think that. I don't know if it will be at eight and four or seven and five or six and six, but I still think you all will get in the bowl game. At NC State, I, NC State is probably the dark horse against Clemson at this point. Um, Iowa State beat, goes on the road and beats number twenty-five Oklahoma State forty-eight forty-two. Um, good win for Iowa State. I, I expect Iowa State to possibly sneak into a bowl game at 6-6. Six and six. If they don't, they're probably the best team not in a bowl game at this point. Um, Oklahoma State's going to be out of the rankings. And Oklahoma State, I'm telling you this right now, they're not players in the Big 12. They're just not. You can't let teams like Texas Tech and, uh, and Iowa State go into your um, home stadium and beat you. You just can't let that happen. So... That's my opinion about that. Now let's get to these games. Um, let's get move a little bit quicker. Tulane versus Cincinnati. Congratulations, um, Cincinnati. You're in the bowl game. Um, I expect Cincinnati to be ranked this week, by the way, at six and zero. Tulane. I still think Tulane's a decent team. I still think you, I still give you all a chance to make a bowl game. Buffalo versus Central Michigan. Both teams hanging in opposite directions. Buffalo gets the win on the road, 34-24. Good win for Buffalo. You're probably the best team in the MAC. Um, outside Northern Illinois is probably you, those two teams. Central Michigan is not a good team. Eastern Michigan loses to Western Michigan on the road 27-24. Good win for Western Michigan. They look like a decent team in the MAC. Eastern Michigan, Eastern Michigan had a good win against Purdue, but outside of that, they didn't really do anything. Let's see, Temple beats East Carolina 49-6. Um, good win for Temple at home. East Carolina, um, I don't know. I still think you guys might win two more games this year, but I just don't know. Um, this was a fun game. Missouri versus South Carolina. Both of these teams are pretty even, in my opinion. As South Carolina gets the last second field goal to win 37-35. Um, South Carolina, good win. Um, I expect South Carolina to be in a bowl game at this point. They needed this win. They want to get in a bowl game. They still get Texas A&M. Um, yeah, they get Texas A&M, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Kentucky, those four um, SEC opponents. They still get Florida, and yeah, they still get um, those five, and I forget who else um, you all get. But good win um, for South Carolina. I just feel like the only thing um, for Missouri is that you're 0-2 in the conference, and you still you still get the teams out of Tennessee, um, yeah you still get the teams out of Tennessee. You, you get a crack against Alabama, um, you still get Arkansas. So you have three wins right there. So you, I I think Missouri will be in a bowl game. Next game Illinois versus Rutgers. This all this game told me that, was that Rutgers is the worst team in the Big Ten. Good win for Illinois on the road. You're three and two and one and one in the Big Ten. Maybe you could start winning. Maybe you can string together a few wins and sneak into the uh, into, into a bowl game or something. Good win. They won 38-17, by the way. Um, Pittsburgh gets the overtime win against Syracuse, 44-37. By the way, I really like those Pittsburgh uniforms. But good, very good win for Pittsburgh. They look like a team that can make a bowl game. Syracuse still looks like a team that can make a bowl game. Um, I st All they need to do is win two more games, so... I expect Syracuse to do that. Northern Illinois beats Ball State 24-16 on the road. Good win for Northern Illinois. They look like one of the top two teams in the MAC. 
Ball State does not look like that good of a team in the MAC. Even though they, I'll give them this, they did hang in there with Northern Illinois, so maybe they are an okay team. I didn't watch any of this game. Mm -hmm. Ohio State, I mean, Ohio beats Kent State 27-26. A little bit disappointed in, in um, Ohio. I expected them to blow them out. Um, Kent State, they looked, they looked pretty good in this game. I'll say that, but I still think they're one of the worst teams in college football. Miami, Ohio beats Akron. Akron, um, 41-17. Good win for Miami, Ohio. Akron is a, um, they just do not look that good, Akron. Let's see. Navy... Air Force. Air Force beats Navy 35-7. Good win for Air Force. Um, they needed this one. If they want to do anything, and if they want to do anything, Navy does not look like a good team, especially away from home. Toledo versus Bowling Green. Toledo gets the win, 52-36. Good win for Toledo at home. Um, a lot of offense in this game. Bowling Green. I don't know if you guys are going to be doing anything this year. You're one and five, so you're probably not. So. I expect you all to be like two and ten, three and nine. Georgia Southern beats South Alabama forty eight thirteen. Georgia Southern looks like a pretty good team in the Sun Belt. Um South Alabama looks like one of the worst teams in the Sun Belt. Um that's what it looked like. Next, uh San Diego State goes on the road and pulls off the upset against Boise State nineteen to thirteen. Big win for San Diego State. Um I expect them to probably be at least fighting with with um, Fresno State for that Mountain West um, championship representing the West Division. Boise State, um, Utah State's in your way. So, you got to beat Utah State if you want to do anything. South Florida goes on the road and beats UMass 58-42. Good win for South Florida. Um, I don't think, I mean, I'm in shock they gave up 42 points. Actually, no, I'm not in shock. Um, South Florida's defense sucks, though. UMass, um, I don't think UMass is a good team. Baylor beats Kansas State, 37-34. And all I'm going to say to this one is good win for Baylor. Bad, um, not a good loss for uh, Kansas State. Kansas State's 0-3 in the Big 12. You guys are probably probably not making a bowl game this year. Um, Baylor, um, you guys could make a bowl game. Um, I don't, I'm not, I don't know if Baylor could um, hang in there with the West Virginias, the um, Texases, the uh, Oklahomas of the world. Iowa goes on the road and beats Minnesota 48-31. A lot of offense from Iowa. Their offense looked pretty good. Minnesota's defense looked bad. Um, Minnesota, I don't think you're all making a bowl game this year because you're 0-2 in the Big Ten and... You guys just don't look that good. Um, Iowa, I think you all make on bowl game, but I don't think you're contending with, with um, Wisconsin, especially since you lost to them. Ole Miss beats UL Monroe seventy to twenty one. Um, a lot of offense from Ole Miss. Pretty good um, win for Ole Miss. Um, they could pull off an upset or two, possibly in the SEC. This team, um, I don't see it, but they could. UL Monroe. Um, Guys, I don't know if you guys are going to be players in the Sun Belt at 2-4 and four at this point. New Mexico gets a big-time win on the road against UNLV, 50-14. to 14. Let's talk about New Mexico first. Um, you guys look like you might not be as bad as people think that um, you guys are. Um, you guys look pretty good in this game for the most part. Um, a little bit of a slow start, but still pretty good. UNLV, I don't know what the hell was that performance, um, especially at home. Um, you guys are probably not players in the Mountain West. Florida Atlantic beats Old Dominion 52-33. Um, good win for Florida Atlantic. They desperately needed this win. They want to do anything in the Conference USA. Old Dominion, you still have that win against Virginia Tech. They're one of the biggest upsets in college football history. UAB beats Louisiana Tech 28-7. to um, Good win for UAB. They look like one of the best teams in the Conference USA. Um, Louisiana Tech, uh, I still think Louisiana Tech will make a bowl game. UTSA beats Rice 20-3. Good win for UTSA. They needed this win. They want to do anything on um, this year. Rice looks like one of the worst teams in college football. Louisiana beats Texas State 42-27. Um, Louisiana looked very good in the first half, getting out to a 28-0 lead, but then they slowed down some. So good win for them. Um, 
they could maybe make a bowl game. Um, Texas State, you look, you guys look like one of the worst teams in the Sun Belt, <laughs> if you want me to be honest. Um, let's see. Memphis beats UConn 55-14 at home. Good win for Memphis. I expect them to blow them out. Um, even though, I'll say this about Memphis. I don't know if you guys are going to be um, huge players in the AAC West, the American West. And the reason why is because you had two conference losses. If you're UConn, good lord, you guys suck, especially defensively. North Texas gets the win over UTEP 27-24. I'm a little bit disappointed in North Texas. I thought they would blow them out. But um, they, UTEP, I'll give them credit for hanging in there. But they still look like one of the worst teams in college football. New Mexico State beats Liberty 49-41. Good win for New Mexico State. Um, they needed this win. Liberty, I mean, you guys you guys look like a 4-8 and eight team out there. Which is not bad being your first year in the FBS. Um, but... Probably not making a bowl game, even though I think you guys are ineligible for making a bowl game this year since it's your first year. Uh, let's see, Washington State beats, beats Oregon State 56-37. to, 56 to 37. Uh, Good win for Washington State on the road. I think that Oregon State, they're not that good of a football team. I think they're the worst team, definitely in the Pac-12 North. I, would, I would like to see Oregon State and UCLA play each other, see who will win that game. Um, But... Washington State's defense did not look that good in this game. So that's something to keep an eye on. We'll see. Arizona beats Cal 24-17. Good win for Arizona. Um, they needed it. they needed this win desperately, um, Arizona. Um, Cal, you're 0-2 in the Pac-12. Are you guys players in the Pac-12 North? Probably not. Arizona, you still have a legit shot in the Pac-12 South. Especially being two and one in the Pac-12, that's a, that's always good having a two and one record already in the Pac-12. Um, let's see, Colorado State beats San Jose State, 42 to 30. Good win for um, Colorado State. San Jose State pits all three of their points in one quarter as Colorado State was up 28 nothing at halftime, and then after the third quarter, it was 30 28 San Jose State. So interesting, but. Um, San Jose State looks like the worst team in the Mountain West. They really do. Let's see. Fresno State gets the win over Nevada, 21-3. Good win for Fresno State. Um, Fresno State is just a better team than, than uh, Nevada. That's what it comes down to. Um, nothing else to say. Nevada might still make a bowl game. And then our last game, Hawaii beats Wyoming. 17 to 13. Hawaii is now in bowl game eligibility. They will be in a bowl game. They're three and zero in the Mountain West. They look like a team to beat in the Mountain West. I'm still not sold on them. They're in a they're in a um, conference with Fresno State and San Diego State. So those teams, I, I they might still um they, they they could be Hawaii, but Hawaii looks like the best team right now with the best record on paper in the Mountain West. Um. Good win for them. Wyoming, you guys are not players in the Mountain West. You, you guys ju are just not players this year. Maybe make a bowl game, but we'll see. But anyways, that's um, my video. and my um, That's all I have for for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And this is McDee the Beast signing off.